Hello. Yeah, hi. Friend. Yes, yeah. My name is Alfred. Okay, so I'm Tia Beneza. Tia Beneza. Yeah. Well, I have to introduce myself first. first. Yes, I'm a first. presenter and a partner of the Retaining Channel. Okay. And what we do is actually we try to get people on board, people to know the good things happening in Ghana okay. from abroad. Okay. So that if they are coming to Ghana, they don't have any doubt. Okay. But I'll be here and see you. Okay. I want you to introduce yourself. Okay, to me. so I'm Jay Beneza. Okay, yeah, so I'm, Can I look my yes, camera I'm an agronomist by profession. So okay. I studied crops and soil science. Okay, in fact, I'm a business development consultant. Okay, and uh, I've worked for people over the years. Oh, and so I realized that there's also a need for me to initiate. Okay, and I realized that uh, there is a gap in the sanitation industry, and so I can fit myself well. well. And so I decided to choose uh, the beach okay. as one of my target institutions where I also want to contribute to the cleaning in the area. Okay. So currently, my company, Corner Store Waste Management and Cleaning Services, does the cleaning here in Laboma. How long have you been? About a year now. A year now? Yes, so and it's not a year. 15th of January, we're here. Oh. We start with the cleaning. So, so so far, is that only Labadi Beach you clean or you for now? Yes, Laboma Beach. Laboma Currently Beach. Is Laboma Beach. But I mean, arrangement with a number of institutions. And from okay. next year, I'll be moving to other beaches and other institutions. But we learn you from this place, so that when we move to other beach, we have a lot to show. So we don't go and start at at, at scratch. But we have a number of things that we can use to. So uh, with, with Laboma it. Beach, how yeah. many staff? How many people? Do okay, you so have? currently I have five. Okay. Yes, but Laboma already has its own staff that okay. also supports the clinic. Oh. Yes, and so no hospitality is about uh, excitement, okay. clean environment for the people. People come and they don't want to see waste, yes. and so you have to make sure the place is neat. So it's Laboma Beach. In fact, I must say it's one of the neatest beaches in Ghana, oh. and even across the world, wow. because you come here 24 hours, people are on their toes cleaning, and want to make sure that the place is very neat and it's very hospitable. Ghanaians and non ghanaians and people uh, of the tourism fraternity. Have you made any proposal to the government in terms of support and all that stuff? Currently not. Because you also need to get yourself established, uh, get something to show, and so when you put in proposal, the government knows that you are serious. I'm almost way here, and the company has long, uh, is still working. It means that I can showcase something to government or any other institution for them to support me. And so for now, I'm doing it alone and hope to collaborate with other key stakeholders for, for support. Uh, the system, I can see the economy. Yeah. If, if you are working in some place, sometimes you'll be working, but you're not happy due to the salary. Mm -hmm. How do your staff feel? How is their okay, payment? Okay, so one, one, the salary is not enough satisfaction. Job satisfaction is most important. In fact, I, I was working with a very reputable, uh, reputable organization, but I decided to clean. And so I have the satisfaction and joy in doing the sanitation. Because if you're a Christian, you know that cleanliness is next to godliness. And so you, you do, and this is a preventive approach to medication. You make sure the environment is clean and you are not infected with diseases. So I will entreat anybody to go into sanitation. Wherever you are, it could be commoner sanitation. You could support, now the commoner spirit is even dying. And so that's what we, we want to even move on as an NGO. And so we want to do beach and street care organization. And so we'll be supporting beaches and streets, the lorry station, support occasionally with the cleaning. Now, yes. you mm. can see the Peshi Lake is yes. coming with a lot of plastics, yes. other things. I saw a certain man collecting sand. He said he's going to sell it for the uh, cycling yes. companies. Yes. And, but all these things get into the sea, mm. and the sea brings it back. And so, so it's, it's us. It's human beings that drop these plastics in in the water bodies, in the gutters. So when it rains, it moves into the, uh, the the beaches and the dams and the streams, and so they all find themselves in, finally into the ocean, into the sea. And so we have to also look at the way we handle waste in our homes. In fact, it's not good enough to say someone is cleaning. Zoom lion with me, other cleaning companies with me. So you are dropping plastic. It makes no sense because in any case, it will find itself into a beach where we always come to, to relax and enjoy ourselves. Yeah. So now that dedication, you know, mm. only because Ghana we are, mm. somebody may even sit in Trotro, mm. finish drinking water, throw it out. Uh, and this lake bring all this stuff from 
within the, from the town. Yeah. I do think in future they have idea that we can save it from entry okay. to the ocean. So you realize that if you go to the state, you have what you call the polluter pay system. So the companies that does the production of these plastics must be held responsible in the management of the waste in the first place because they are making profit or colossal sums of monies out of that. And so why should we say, for instance, Ghana in, uh, government introducing pollution tax, which, which, uh, which who, and the way the payers are not beneficiaries of the company's proceeds. So if companies are producing waste, they should be made to remove the waste. That is first. Then education should also go on for gov uh, communities and individuals to also support government. If you want to rely on Zoom Lion and other waste management company alone, we cannot do all. And we need to change our habit. And we should also know that the waste now is a product, it's a byproduct for money. And so you can transform the waste. Because now there are recycling companies that buys the plastics. You see, you can convert any organic material into organic fertilizer, which you could even use as, as background for, for background uh, backyard yeah, farming. Say, what's the name of your... Cornerstone Waste Management okay. and Cleaning Services. Cornerstone Waste Management and Cleaning Services. Uh, like the way you talk about the recycling. Yes. Is any of your staff uh, being collecting the... Uh, how do you call it? The plastic for recycling. In fact, I, 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 I do waste transformation. And, and monetization. It's a strategy that I employ. So any waste that I pick from the vendors where I clean, we use almost all. Wow. Because when the plastics waste we sort them, we sell. Okay. The polythenes we sell them. Okay. The papers we sell them. What is left now is the liquid waste. Okay. And the other organic waste that we want to use for organic fertilizer. In fact I'm an agronomist by profession. Yes. And so uh, in very soon we begin compost with it. And you'll be getting fertilizer to do farming, farming. To, so, to support. Uh, this, uh, what is your last waste to the, the okay. entire world and our. And so, and so, Ghana is a beautiful place, a happy place to stay. When you come to Ghana, don't forget La, La Boma Beach. It's one of the best beaches in Ghana, the neatest, and there's tight security. You come here, anything that drops, you can find it. And so, you're all welcome to Ghana, you're welcome to La Boma Beach, and God be with us all. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you.